morning everyone it's Rod here uh, welcome to my channel uh, today I'm gonna talk about uh, my morning routine and I want to talk about this because I know a lot of people are probably doing the same thing um, uh, working from home and probably the last two years since they've established a kind of like morning routine then um, but before that it's completely different before the pandemic days my morning routine was different so now that uh, two years have passed been passed uh, have been have gone um, I had a set of different routine now so I have to follow that every day and I'm pretty sure you also have your own routine so um, let me start by telling you what time I wake up. So basically, my alarm sets off at 5.30, and, but I don't get up at 5.30, no. I, I just snooze it, snooze, 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 uh, for like two, three times, and then I get up at six. Hopefully at six, most of the time at six. <laughs> but you know, sometimes it's 6.30. If I'm too tired and sleepy, so um, yeah, so 5:30 alarm and then snooze two, three times, and then until I get about six, six. Um, of course, I have to freshen up, just like what everybody does. Um, wash my face, uh, brush my teeth, right? And then after that, go to the kitchen and start. Uh, no, before before uh, start boiling water, I, I was gonna say start boiling water, but before that, I drink a couple of um, um, glasses of water uh, just to keep my system from functioning because I've learned and uh, read about it's a good practice to drink water every time in the morning when you wake up. You know, uh, it's a good way to you know um, for your body right so so then after that I have to I what I normally do is prepare uh, a kettle for heating up water for my tea or coffee most of the time I drink tea I used to be a coffee lover lo uh, lover sorry uh, uh, but then I switched to tea because I know it's healthier but when I am um, when I know that I need to wake up, uh, lack of sleep, I need to drink coffee. And that for me is, you know, make me going like for the whole day. I can only drink uh, one, if it's coffee, I can only drink uh, one cup of coffee. I cannot, my tolerance is in caffeine is very, very little. Um, because if I drink more than two, the following day, I start feeling palpitations here on my eye bags. I don't know what that means. But if you if you know what that means, let me know. Uh, I'm very curious if you are experiencing the same thing. So so then, um, yeah, tea. Um, I steep tea for like four or five minutes and then enjoy it. Um, and then, um, while the kettle is heating up the water, I clean up the uh, dishes on the kitchen, the ones that were left by my kids <laughs> overnight. So, um, try to wash them, put them on the dish rock after, and um, after that, I, you know, um, by the way, before moving forward, I was telling you that I've been washing the dishes that was left over by kids in the evening. How do you how do you tell your kids? I mean, I've been telling them to always wash their dishes before they go to bed. Always, always, always. But it when when in the morning I I wake up in the morning, I always see dishes on the, on the kitchen sink. How do you tell your kids about it? Like what's your any tips you can give me? What's your style? What's 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 your recommendation, right? And does your kids kids follow them? Like, do you have a, a clean a clean um, kitchen sink in the morning? 
But anyway, um, yeah, so uh, that's what I do uh, while waiting for the water to heat up the kettle. And um, as well as the water heats up for like five, six minutes. And then while it was heating up, I also um, uh, prepare my, my medicines. I have a few medicines that I drink every morning or during the day. I have one for my mild hypertension for um, uh, those are my maintenance for my mild hypertension and for my cholesterol and um, I've been taking NSAID if you know what NSAID is it's N-S-A-I-D it stands for non-steroidal non anti-inflammatory uh, drug it's for uh, my arthritis right so I've been taking that and um, and I have a couple of uh, couple of um, supplements vitamins and that's it so during the day I make sure I drink them uh, no for sorry for the cholesterol I drink that at night before going to bed what I drink in the morning is my my uh, the one for my hypertension and the one for uh, the NSAID um, after that, uh, after preparing my medicines, uh, probably drinking, no, normally I drink in the morning my, the, ones for, the one for my uh, hypertension, and also after 30 minutes I drink the one for NSAID. And then, uh, while drinking tea, okay, this is after I made my tea, right, after sleeping for 4 or 5 minutes. Read books while reading. I, I've been reading two books, one chapter a day, so that I can understand it better. Um, because if I read many chapters a day, if I try to finish, try to finish the book the whole day, which is sometimes good, especially if it's the kind of book that is very thrilling and uh, fictional, you might want to read the book in one sitting. But the book that I'm reading is. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm reading the Bible, the Catholic Bible, one chapter a day, and the book called Magic, the Magic by Rhonda Byrne, this is what I've been reading. So um, I highly suggest you read this for you to read it. It's uh, it's a good one. It's a way to be positive and uh, be grateful for what you have. Yeah, I've been reading that books. Um, one chapter a day for each. The Bible is the, the it has the greatest stories ever told. So I enjoyed reading it. Um, started reading it for like, like last late last year. And one chapter a day. I'm now in Leviticus, very early part of the Old Testament. Um, yeah, and then after reading the book. After a day, I try to check my personal emails and um, read some news, at least current events, you know, because I have, I want to know what's happening. And although sometimes it's very heartening to know what's happening around us, around the world, especially the ones that are tragic, you know. I, and I and sometimes think about if I read about something um, that has something to do with crimes on the news, it's, it's, it's very sometimes scary and it really if it involves children, it's very hard to read. Um, after reading those stuff, I read personal email and news, try to read, um, at, I, no, at 10 o'clock, sorry, at 10 o'clock, I start working, I start my job. My shift is 10 to 6 and I work from home right um, so I have to log normally I log in 15 minutes early uh, so that I can check my email work email and tasks what I'm going to do meetings that I have to attend appointments that I have to make um, 15 minutes early is good enough for me to prepare my it reminds me if I read those emails 
or um, appointment, I'm re I'll be ready for it, right? So that's what I do. Um, yeah, part of my work, as you can see probably, there's a lot of computers back there, as you can see, right? Laptops. Because I work as an IT professional, as a support um, company, from, from a company, technical support. So uh, basically, I aside from setting up those laptops for uh, onboarding and offboarding, um, I prepare their, uh, aside from that, sorry, aside from doing those, I, I do uh, you know, a bit of network administration and uh, system administration. But we are basically, I'm at uh, tier 1 and tier 2 of support. Uh, and then we have our uh, tier 3 support, our uh, network admins and system administrators. So, um, yeah, so that's basically um, my morning routine. I would stop there because it's been like 10 minutes or maybe 11. Uh, and then later on, I'm gonna probably do another video of my afternoon routine, right? What happens after 12 noon? Most, most of the time it's the same. But there are times that are different. And uh, my afternoon routine to the evening routine. I'm gonna tell that about in my next video. Alright, well, thank you for watching and um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I know it's very long, it's like 11 minutes long. So, again, See you next time on my uh, CC or my next video. Bye!